guys, Ahmed here and in this video I will be showing you how to create a design system for buttons. You might be working on a big design project where you have 50 screens and you have lots of 50 buttons and you've been doing a lot of copying and pasting and it is taking away your time from designing new screens. You want a much more consistent, systematic way to actually create and update your button styles across your project and have the changes cascade. If that is you, you are in the right video and I'm going to show you how to do this on Figma. And at the end of this video, you will be able to create a button like this, where you can have roughly 50 variations, right? Three here, three for size, two for state, then we can show icons or not, and we can change this icons. And this video is also created after the Figma config update. So I'm gonna also show you how to use the power, new powers of the components. So you can actually accomplish this 50 variations without creating a lot of variants. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and create our first button. So I'm gonna press the frame. I'm going to press shift 2 to zoom in and you can always look at the bottom left here where I'm going to type stuff and you can see my shortcuts there. So I'm going to zoom in even further than 76, maybe 150. Oops, my bad. Maybe zoom in a bit more. All right. So I'm going to press F for a frame shortcut and I'm going to have this frame and I'm going to fill it with the color of this with control C. So then I'm going to add a text to this frame and I'm going to name this input. Right now the text input is inside the frame we have here, but it's not at the center. So to do that, I am going to actually press auto layout and that is going to let me do a few of the positioning, but it will also still position itself even if the thing gets longer, even if the frame gets longer so it scales as well while maintaining its position pretty good. Now if you don't know what to lay out, please click on the video above. It's an in-depth tutorial for Figma for auto layout future solely. I cannot go in depth if you don't know this yet, but I believe that video will cover you. So now that we have our button, what I'm going to do is I am going to also add kind of an icon. So what I'm going to do is I am gonna go to my icon set. Right now it only has plus and a chevron. I'm gonna copy it, gonna come back and I'm gonna paste it right there. And because I have the auto layout, it's gonna automatically position it. But I want the basically the icon to be prior to text. I want it to have white color and I wanna change some properties of my Auto layout, maybe make it wider and maybe make it around like 24, four is better. I think that is pretty good. I think we should make both of them hug and I think that's pretty good. So it's not that small yet. So maybe four, yes, four is good and 16, that is small and primary. So. Now we have our small primary button. Now what I want to do is I want to give this some superpowers. What that means is I'm going to make this a component. So I'm going to press command option K as a shortcut. And now it's a component. When it's a component, it can now have a few more properties that can let this icon scale. At this point, what my icon is, if I copy an instance of it, and put it, let's say, on another screen like here. If I make a change to this parent, like let's change its text input, the child also changes. Now, the this is still though not enough scalable because while the changes are present, it affects every children. But if you want your children to have the same color and the icon of the button, but you want it to have a different text content light, like sign in instead of input. And that's a very valid problem. And how we solve this with the new Figma update is, what you can do is now basically go to your components and you can add certain stuff. So if we are to change the text, if I double click the text inside our button component, I can see the content here. And I can change it here as well. Right. But 
I want you to pay close attention to here. If I click on this, it's going to apply a text property and I'm going to name this content and I'm going to name this value. How this will help is now if we have a child here, we can actually change its content. So we can have different trials with the same button color icon and have its content to be completely different. And I really go in depth on the variations, benefits and cons of this approach in my Figma auto uh, Figma config lesson that is just going showing up above. I believe that lesson will help you as well if you haven't followed this Figma 2022 update yet. But let's keep going and now I want to ability to actually change the icon I have. Some of my buttons might use the plus icon, some of them might use minus or share one. So I'm gonna just press instant swap property and I'm gonna say left icon. Now a child can actually swap the icon we have, they can go share one right. And if you have more icons, which you probably will have in your production design, you will have 100 icons, you can create 100 variations. And that's super cool. So without even creating any variants, we, have, we can now have 100 variations of a particular button. But you might also have buttons where there might be no icons. So to do that, Click, the, click on the icon again and then go to layer and this is basically show let's say icon and basically depending on the boolean value true or false if the show icon is false we want to show stuff and that is how it goes. So this is the component part guys and in the next video I'm gonna show you how to create the variants. Now let's create variation of this. We already have used the components property superpowers to actually create much more scalable buttons. We can have different variations where you can have a content change or an icon change. But for like having different button sizes or having a primary or secondary button, we have to rely on Figma variants. And this tutorial will not go in depth for Figma variants, but if you want the benefits and cost and where you should use them for in-depth tutorial, please click on the video title above. That is my in-depth Figma variants tutorial. It's roughly 30 minutes. It's gonna cover everything you need to know if you want a kind of an advanced guide. But let's get cracking. So to actually turn this into a variant is I am going to plus click on this plus and I'm gonna choose variant and now we have a variant and I'm gonna this is our first one and I'm gonna pick its property meaning what kind of an attribute are we going to create these variants for and we are gonna do two one is for the size the second is for state primary secondary and then we have a small medium large size roughly six different variations so let's do this the first property is going to be size and I'm gonna create a second property and I'm gonna name this state. Fantastic. And this is going to be basically, this is a small primary. So I'm gonna make this first one to be small primary. Fantastic. And I'm gonna click on the plus and I am going to have it here, that's good and maybe put it there and I want to stretch this out and that's good and I'm gonna put it around here so what I'm going to now do is I am gonna increase its sizes a bit and this is gonna be medium and I think for medium we are gonna go 8 and probably 20 and that's good and I'm gonna add one more for large and for large I'm gonna make the size large and again, states will stay primary for all this group. And this should be probably be 12 to 24. And that's your large button. Now, I'm gonna stretch this further a bit. Gonna create plus, And I'm gonna move it to here. Now we are gonna have our secondary variants. Now, for our secondary element, what I'm gonna do is the shortcut Shift X. This will shift the fill and stroke value. I'm gonna press Ctrl C after I set to the text to copy this color and for the icon color as well I'm gonna pick this blue and voila we have a small 
secondary and if you see this alert basically it means that you have not separated two of the same variants so figma doesn't know which to choose it means you have to change your property value for one of the elements you are inside of this whole variant group so then once the small button is there we are gonna click click on plus and we are well but we can do actually something else we can click on plus here as well it depends on what you want medium secondary and I'm gonna do shift X the same process Control C to text and I'm gonna do the same for the icon here fantastic and I'm gonna basically add the large one as well here and do the same shift X Control C and for the icon as well I'm gonna just pick this blue color and I'm gonna name this secondary large okay and that's our icon set so now I'm going to show you how our new children will look like I'm just gonna fetch it here and let's say we want to do small to medium and we want a secondary and we want a share on right and boom so with like 10 to 15 minute tutorial we have three six twelve well six roughly if you have five to ten icons in your icon set like 60 variations without counting that you can actually change your input which we can make like sign in or next for this one and yeah thanks so much for watching this video guys i hope you enjoyed this and if you haven't already please click on that subscribe button below if you do you will get a notification when i produce new videos on YouTube for UI UX design so that you can become a better UI UX designer and we can stay in touch and you can improve. So take care, have a fantastic week. Now before you go any further, I actually added two videos to the end of this video that I believe will help make you a better UI UX designer on Figma. Please watch either of them if you haven't already, I believe they will improve your design skills a lot.